Here's an example from Law of Cosine section, it's problem number 44, and it reads the airport B is 300 miles from airport A at a bearing of north 50 degrees east, and you can see the figure below. A pilot wishing to fly from A to B mistakenly flies due east at 200 miles per hour for 30 minutes when he notices his error. Boy, good pilot. Um, the question is how far is the pilot from the destination at the time he notices the error and what bearing should he head his plane in order to arrive at airport B? So this takes into account some information about navigational systems and, and um, going in the wrong direction, I guess. Um, but as we go through this, we have a triangle and we can fill in some information that we know. Um, the first thing that we know is that this pilot flew due east at 200 miles per hour for 30 minutes. Now if he flew at 200 miles per hour for 30 minutes, that's half an hour at times 200 miles per hour, that's only 100 miles. So this distance right here is 100 miles. Now the other thing that we can do is we can calculate this angle, which is 40 degrees, because this makes up a right triangle, or a right angle I should say. If this angle is 50, this angle has to be 40. And I'm given side, angle, side, and now when this plane is located at this point, let's call this point C, I can figure out this distance, which we can call X, and using the law of cosines. And so let's go ahead and do that. If we use this, it's going to be X squared equals um, 100 squared plus 300 squared minus 2 times 100 oops, times 300 times the cosine of 40 degrees. To get x, I'm just going to do the square root, and if I were you, I'd plug everything in your calculator at once to minimize rounding error. So square root of 100 squared plus 300 squared minus 2 times 100 times 300 times the cosine of 40 degrees. So let me just go ahead and type that in my calculator. And I get 232.459, so let's go 232.46 miles. And so that's how far he is away from airport B, 232.46 miles. So not terrible, but we got to redirect them now. And what we have to do is we have to figure out what this angle is. Now in order to do that, I can figure out what this bigger angle is. I'm going to switch colors here real quickly. And if I figure out this bigger angle, now I'll be able to figure out what this little angle is because I'll subtract 90 from it. So in order to do that, I now know this is 232.46. I can use the law of sines. I can call this C and say sine of C over 300 equals sine of 40 over 232.46. Now if I multiply both sides by 300, I get sine of C equals 300 sine 40 over 232.46. To get C by itself, I do the sine inverse of this whole thing, 300 sine 40 over 232.46. And that's going to get, and I get 56.05. So this is 56.05. Now that doesn't make very much sense, does it? Because right here, this is an angle that's bigger than 90 degrees, and this is not bigger than 90 degrees. And so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to find the supplement, because again, with the law of signs, you got to be aware of that. So 180 minus 
is 123.95. And so this angle here is 123.95. Well, if I take away the right angle, take away the right angle, that will tell me my bearing here. And so if I subtract 90 from this, that's going to give me 33.95 degrees. And so my bearing should be north, because I'm heading north, 33.95. Degrees east, and that would be my heading or bearing to get to Airport B. And I would have to travel 232.46 miles to get there. 